Hey guys, Pass Snazzy here. Now what you're seeing right now is was recorded during ep making episode 10 because I didn't have enough money to uh, get the car inspected or uh, retune my car because everybody knows I hate tuning the car myself and uh, Fleetari seems to tune it the best way in my <coughs> in my opinion. So um, uh, yeah, just letting you know. So uh, but. To stay con to stay consistent with the up with the uh, with the with the with the order of each episode, I'm going to release the rally prep episode once obviously this one's finished, and once that one's finished, which will be finished, and then this one will come out after it. So uh, there you go, guys. Guys, I don't really have a lot of money right now. I mean, as you can clearly see, I'm kind of broke right now. I spent basically all my money. Uh, Fixing my Satsuma, guys. And even then, I still need some more money to fix up a little bit more for the rally. Huh. If only there was some other way I could make money. Like, I don't have enough money to even gamble with. Which, by the way, in case you didn't know, gambling with the Venti guys has been my primary source of making money in this playthrough. So, how do I make money? Huh. If only there was, like, some some way to like I don't know like find some old car or something and just like you know borrow it and just take it in for some money I mean wait a minute I think I have an idea <laughs> Okay, so the topic of this video is going to be talking about the randomized junk car locations and how and in some cases where to find them, like where, where they most likely spawn. Delivering junk cars to Flutari can be one of the most lucrative jobs in the game, but just like moving Zuko from his house, it is only a one-time thing, and once it's been done, it can't be done ever again. So if you're ever in a pinch or in a bind and you know where a couple cars are using quick cash, this is probably one of those jobs that would come in handy for this situation. Now, as I said before, the junk car locations are randomized every time you own a new game. So they're not going to be all in the same places. If you're curious to which spawn locations they spawn in the My Summer Car map, here is an image here of all of these spawn locations for every possible junk car location in the game. There are only four junk cars you can find in My Summer Car. Going by least expensive to most expensive, we have the Satsuma GT wreck, the Model T wreck, the Fairlane wreck, and the Firebird wreck. Obviously, if you were to find all these cars and cash it in all at once, you'd have a pretty large sum of money. Now, keep in mind, this is one of those jobs that does, up, does apply to your net income. So, it will make your net income go up, which will increase your police funds. Now, from my experience playing the game, there are actually locations where cars tend to spawn more frequently than other locations. As we go through this guide, I will show you some of the locations I found where junk cars typically spawn pretty frequently, or one particular kind of junk car spawns there. But also, typically, if you're you know pretty uh, vigilant and look around a lot when you're driving, then you will spot one eventually. Because more than likely, if you're like me and use a tractor, which goes you know, which is usually slow, you'll have plenty of time to look around your surroundings to see where a junk car could be hiding. Since I've already showed you where I found a tea bucket, we're going to go to the next junk car location next time. So if you've been following along my series, you should know that I found the Rex Satsuma down by the landfill when I went to go hunt for all the GT parts. So that will be our next location. The other places I found the Satsuma to spawn are on the ski hill, 
under the bridge, and over by the dirt track. And as I said before, I believe the dirt track is the actual original location of the Vex Satsuma because you also find the GT Grill and the GT uh, RPM gauge. You can use one of two vehicles to tow jump cars in the game, the tractor and the gifu. Now both vehicles have their own advantages and disadvantages. Obviously, using the gifu will be a much faster than using the tractor, but one, I think a patch that was added a while back makes it so the rope, tow rope can break if you hit something or you the, the rope gets pulled too quickly. So there is a chance you could lose your cargo and not even realize it. So it's always good to check your mirrors and press F9 to activate the chase cam. The next location I found for a junk car was the Firebird, which is located just a little ways from the Venti Shack, uh, not too far from the radio tower, as you can see here. The final location was the Fair Lane, which I found over by the dirt track. I actually found, I think, on my first or second episode of making this series uh, when I was driving home in the track. So like I said, cars can be found if you just look around hard enough for long enough. And if you're in a tractor, you've got plenty of time to look around. With all the cars dropped off, all we need to do now is simply wait for Monday to roll around and collect our money. With Monday finally here, we can go to Futari's and finally collect our money and finally finish this stupid car and get it ready for the rally. Which, uh, if you haven't seen my stream, I failed miserably yet, by the way. So, I don't think I'll do a video about the rally, to be honest, because I suck at the rally. And really, all you need is just a practice and a well-tuned Satsuma. That's all you need. And that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, it's a bit shorter than I thought it'd be. Then again, I mean, it's kind of hard. I, I, don't want, I don't want to go over every single possible spawn location of the junk cars in the game. Because we would be here all freaking day. And I didn't have no clip mod installed, so uh, that's basically it. Uh, it's easy money, and you know, it's probably the easiest job to do in the game if you have patience, so that's pretty much it. Until next time, everybody, I'll see y'all next time. Bye bye.